Hey guys, it's me Soren, back with another video. Today is our 15th hidden figure, and that is Mabel Fairbanks, born November 14th, 1915, and died September 29th, 2001. Mabel Fairbanks was an American figure skater and coach. As a black American, she's considered to have paved the way for other minorities to compete in the sport of figure skating. She was the first black American inducted into the U.S. Figure Skating Hall of Fame and has also been inducted into the International Women's Sports Hall of Fame. Mabel Fairbanks was born on November 14, 1915 in Florida's Everglades. In a 1999 interview, she said, My mother took in everybody, every kid off the street, and gave them a place to stay and something to eat. So I never knew who were my real sisters and brothers, but my older sister told me there were 14. Fairbanks was orphaned at the age of eight. After staying briefly with the teacher who mistreated her, she joined one of her brothers in New York City. She worked for him and his wife at their fish market in Harlem, but they kicked her out after she gave a hungry family more fish than they had paid for. A wealthy woman saw her sleeping on a park bench and offered her room and board as a babysitter in her home overlooking Central Park. Fairbanks began figure skating in the late 1920s after observing children at the Central Park ice rink. She became fascinated by the ice and bought a pair of used skates two sizes too big for one dollar from a pawn shop. She stuffed them with cotton wool and found her balance on the blades by going up and down the stairs in her building, before she began skating at a small rink in Harlem. When she first attempted to skate at the Central Park rink, white youth turned her away, but she returned day after day until she was allowed in, skating in the mornings before the rink opened. She said, blacks didn't skate there, but it was a public space, so I just carried on. Fairbanks also attempted to skate at other rinks, but was denied access because of race restrictions. Her uncle built a six foot by six foot rink in her room so she could practice. It was made of wood and tin with dry ice underneath. When water was added on top, it froze into a mini rink. As her skills and reputation grew, she was finally allowed into the public rinks. By her early 20s, Fairbanks had formed a novelty act in partnership with a roller skater and took her portable ice rink show on the road. Soon, she was skating at large scale shows in Manhattan to mix race audiences. During the 1930s, she reached Olympic caliber skating under the training of nine-time national champion and Olympic figure skater Maribel Vincent Owen. Vincent agreed to train her in secret and for free. Fairbanks gained further Olympic aspirations after seeing Norwegian figure skater Sonja Henney in the 1936 film One in a Million about the 1936 Winter Olympic Games. But although she was strong, athletic, and capable, taking and passing all of the required competition tests, she was unable to join any of the clubs that sponsored figure skaters because of her race. Fairbanks was not allowed to compete in the national qualifying event for the Olympics or any national or international competition due to her being black. Instead, Fairbanks continued performing in ice shows in New York throughout the 1940s and 50s. She often wore pink or purple, or purple excuse me, skate boots to stand out, rather than the more common black or white. After relocating to Los Angeles, she toured internationally, skating with the Rhapsody on Ice show, the Ice Capades in Mexico, and later with the famous Ice Follies show as a principal skater. After returning to the United States, she saw a sign with colored trade not solicited at the Pasadena Winter Gardens, but it was a public space similar to the Central Park rink, and Fairbanks' uncle had newspaper articles written about it until they finally let her in. She starred on KTLA TV's Frosty Folly show and continued to perform at local showrooms, putting on her own ice shows as well, but still was not allowed to join professional skating clubs. She also appeared in ice shows in Las Vegas, becoming friendly with the Rat Pack of Frank Sinatra, Peter, Law Peter Lawford, Dean Martin, and Sammy Davis Jr. Some of her other friends included actors Cary Grant and Zsa Zsa Gabor. After retiring from performing in the 1960s, excuse me, Fairbanks coached singles and pairs, including Olympic medalists Tiffany Chin, Scott Hamilton, Christy Yamaguchi, and Atoy Wilson, the first Black American to win the U.S. National Championship, among many others. She also coached and paired Richard Ewell and Michelle McClady, who together were the first Black Americans to win a national pairs title in 1972. In her coaching years, Fairbanks opened the door for other young Blacks to compete in skating by applying for individual memberships from the USPS 
USA or the United States Professional Skating Association without letting them know that her students were black. She forced LA's Culver City Skating Club to become the first skating institution to admit a black American in 1965. She also taught skating to the children of many celebrities. In 1997, she became the first black American inducted into the US Figure Skating Hall of Fame. She was inducted into the International Women's Sports Hall of Fame in October 2001. Fairbanks never married. She was diagnosed with neuromuscular disease myasthenia gravis in 1997 and with acute leukemia in mid-2001. She died from her illnesses on September 29, 2001 at Providence St. Joseph Medical Center in Burbank, California. She was buried at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Hollywood, California. Skating historians credit her with inventing at least two spins, one being the familiar pose of a skater raising their leg at the back until it is almost above their head, the other a spin where the leg is held straight up. Instead of naming them after Mabel Fairbanks as is tradition, they were called variations. And I do have a quote to close out with. I remember they said to me, we don't have blacks in ice shows, said Mabel Fairbanks, but I didn't let that get in my way because I loved to skate. And that's Mabel Fairbanks, a hidden figure. There will be links and information in the description box. Food for thought as always. See you guys next time. Peace.